Here we have a project that already has several music playlist containers configured with music for the Cube demo game. We want to use the varying circumstances of gameplay to decide which music will be heard. These circumstances could be, is the player alive or defeated, fighting the big boss, or involved in some other special storyline segment of the game. Wise uses a specialized object called a music switch container to make these decisions. First, let's listen to some of the different types of music we have available. Here we have the combat music, and when the player is defeated, we have the defeated music. In order for Wise to know which one should play based on given circumstances in the game, they all need to be placed within a music switch container. Select all of the various music playlist containers, right-click, choose New Parent, and select Music Switch Container. Because this music was composed specifically for the custom level used in the WISE 201 certification course, we'll name this object WISE 201 Music. Before we get into the main features of this music switch container, we should notice in the general settings the time settings area. These default values will be inherited by all of the objects contained within. Because the included music playlist containers use varying tempos, we can't set a single tempo here that will work with all of the pieces of music. To address this, we'll set the override parent option for each of the contained objects so that their tempo values will continue to be referenced as they were originally configured. Let's expand this, and we'll take a bit of a shortcut. We'll select all of the music playlist containers, right-click, and then go down to Show in Multi-Editor. Expand out the Audio, General Settings, Time Settings, and then choose Override Clock Settings. Now, as we select each of the music playlist containers, we can see their original tempos are reflected. Currently, if we try to select the new music switch container object and try to play it, we'll see that the transport doesn't provide us with that option. This is because we have yet to define which music playlist container should be played based on a given circumstance. With the music switch container selected, we'll see the music switch container association editor to the lower right. This is where we'll define which conditions in the game the music system will pay attention to. An obvious condition is that we want different music to play if the player is alive or defeated. To add this dependency, click the selector button. The system can monitor the status of either switch groups or state groups. See our other videos about how these are configured. Choose State Groups Player Life. This state group has three options. None, Alive, or Defeated. None we don't need to worry about. That would be like when the player is in a menu. Let's start with the music we want to hear when the player is alive. Click Alive in the column and click the Add Path button. A path is essentially a rule for an if-then statement. In this case, if the player is alive, then what music do we want to play? The music that we'll play is listed in the Object column. To add this, we'll click the Browser button, choose Combat, and click OK. We want to do the same thing for when the player is defeated, but we're going to take a shortcut. We're going to simply drag the defeated music directly to the new defeated state, and then the appropriate path is automatically created. Now to listen to this, be sure that the WISE 201 music switch container is selected, and now let's look at the transport and choose the States button. The player life state in the transport is set to Alive. If we click Play, The combat music plays. If we change the state to defeated, the defeated music is heard. Now, if we start with the player being alive, and then as the music plays, the player life state changes to defeated. Let's see what happens. Here, you can hear that it eventually switched, but it took a while. 
You can learn how to modify when transitions occur by seeing the Music Transitions video tutorial. In most cases, there are a variety of factors that will affect which music should play. In Cube, when the player is alive, he may be entering a special storyline segment of the game, fighting the big boss, or even completing the level. For each of these conditions, unique music has been composed. To account for this, the game sends calls to Wise which correspond to another state group that has already been configured called Music State. Let's add this state group as another factor to consider when choosing which music to play. In the Association Editor, click the selector, State Groups, Music Work Unit, Music State. Here we see the various states that are possible, but notice that in the Paths area below, you'll see a period with an asterisk that has been added to the paths. The value to the left of the period represents the condition of the first column, and the value listed after represents the condition of the second column. An asterisk represents a wild card. In other words, it doesn't matter what the second column state is set to. We need to configure it so that when the player is alive and fighting the big boss, the boss music plays. To do this, make sure the alive state is selected in the first column. But in the music state column, we need to choose boss. And then we can click the Add Path button. A new path that states Alive period Boss appears, and we can now drag the boss music to that path. Let's do that for the storyline segment of the game as well. But to save a step, drag the story music to the story state, and you can see it automatically creates the appropriate path. We'll do the same for Victory. Now we can test the various circumstances. Let's go back and choose the WISE 201 music switch container and simulate the changes in states using the transport. Make sure the player life is set to alive and the music state is set to boss. So when we play, we hear the boss music. Now let's change to the storyline segment of the game. and we hear the story music. And when the player completes the level and moves to victory, the victory music is heard. It's also possible for switch groups to be used when determining which music to play. This can even be done in cooperation with the status of state groups. For example, in Cube, the music state group has a state called Gameplay. Gameplay is the general mode of gameplay, but there's no specific music for it. This is because in Gameplay, the player is constantly shifting between a combat mode and an exploratory mode, depending on if any of the monsters are around the player. For reasons you can learn about in the WISE 201 certification course, an additional gameplay switch group is used to control which music should be played when the player is in the gameplay mode. To add this into the equation, click the selector button. And in this case, we'll go to switch groups, the music work unit, gameplay switch. When we do this, you'll see that an additional period and asterisk has been added to all of the available paths that we've already created. In this case, we can get rid of the path that has a live being associated with the combat music. You'll see why in a moment. To remove an existing path, just right-click it and choose Remove Path. Now we want to associate the combat music for what happens when the player is alive and in gameplay mode, and the gameplay switch is set to combat. So we'll drag the combat music to the combat switch. We'll use the same idea for when the player is in an exploratory mode. We can see the related paths appear below. To test this, first make sure the WISE 201 music switch container is selected, and then in the transport, make sure the music state is in gameplay and that the player is alive. Then, in the transport, we'll click the Switches button, and we can see that the gameplay switch is set to explore. Let's try it out.
the Explore music plays. Now, when we switch it to combat mode, the combat music plays. Let's change this back to Explore without first stopping. It did switch back to the Explore music, but it took a bit of time. As mentioned earlier, when and how WISE transitions between music is managed by a different system. So be sure to watch the video on music transitions. The music switch container is now aware of which music should play based on the conditions of the game. The next step is to make sure that this music switch is going to be able to respond to an event that's sent from the game to WISE. In Cube, what triggers the music is a simple event called Music that's already been set up. In the Project Explorer, we'll click the Events tab, expand the Music Work Unit, and select the Music Event. In the Event Editor, we can see that this event has no association to play any type of object. Right-click, choose New Action, and then choose Browse Object. Here we can go to the Interactive Music Hierarchy, expand the Music Work Unit, and choose to play the WISE 201 Music Switch Container. Now, down in the transport, we can see it's focused on the music event. If we go back to the states, we can see that our player is alive and in the gameplay mode. If we go back to the switches button, the gameplay switch is set to explore, and the music we assigned plays correctly.